Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, what we have in career and finance is the magician. You have ideas about what you want to happen, what you want to what you want to institute, what you want to bring in, in into institution, what you want to bring into fruition. It says, okay, you have the idea, start acting on your idea, um, start planning, and then start putting everything together so that you can actually bring this into life. Um, you can breathe life into this. It says that um, the ideas that you have um, are, are really good and, and they come from inspiration by way of the divine, okay? And what's really innately embedded in you from conception. So whatever you're trying to do, it's what, it fits your personality. It's who you are. It's what you should be doing. You feel good about doing it. It's a passion project, but it's also, um, it's interweaving into the person you really are, you know, or interwoven into who you are. With the magician, it says, make sure you use your cards right or you play your cards right. You say the right things also. Um, make sure that you, you present whatever it is you're trying to present in the best fashion possible. Make sure you present the best product or the best service or whatever it is you do. Make sure you take your time with it. In love and romance, you have the temperance card. It's like you're trying to take the middle ground in something and try to make each and every person involved here um, satisfied. If not happy, satisfied. You're trying to walk that fine line of um, not becoming unraveled or you know discombobulated in terms of your emotions. You don't want anybody to put you to a place of being destabilized. Maybe argument and frustration and discord and disruption and drama. It's like you're trying to do all that you can do to maintain the peace, the temperance card. There's also an angel working with you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but there's an angel working with you to help maintain the peace, the peace um, that allows you to, or you three, I don't know, to get along, to move forward, to make something happen, to salvage a relationship here, to make sure that, um, Things can work, uh, you know, uh, things can work accordingly in terms of getting something done. If it's, you know, um, handing over the children or transferring the children, if there are any children involved, or maybe going through the divorce process, trying to be as uh, feasible, as um, accommodating as possible, maybe even with court or going to court. It's like you're trying to walk that fine line, take the middle ground here and not go off or blow up. What the universe wants to tell you is the will of fortune. Okay. You also like, it's like walking on eggshells with someone, especially someone you live with. Okay. The will of fortune here, um, is what the universe wants to tell you. Some significant change is happening. You got devil, Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. So there's a, a bit of luck associated with whatever you're trying to do, but the cards want you to, to know that uh, in order for this to manifest, you must have patience and keep in mind perfect timing and timing. Timing is an issue, whatever, in love or career. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about, um, again, this is a very lucky time, a time for you to make things happen, for you to bring things into fruition, institution, institute what it is you really want, make it real. It can't just live in your head or rest in your head, bring it down. Okay. That's all manifestation is. It starts with the idea. You move, you move on the idea, you make it real, you bring it into fruition. This table is real before it was real. Someone had the idea in their mind of how to make this table, you know? So um, that's what your plans are. And the universe wants you to know that they're with you. Um, there's guidance here. There's angelic presence. There is an opportunity that will present itself to you. You may be, your psychic abilities could be heightening around either love and romance or career and finance in terms of what you should be doing. Again, that uh, angelic or that divine inspiration to move on something. So this is, 
uh, more so a reading of getting started, understanding that uh, things take time. You do have the infertility issues. This sometimes can come out when you feel like, you know, a project didn't get off the ground, whether it was the project of a relationship, the project of, uh, you know, business and career infertility so that talks about the ground is not fertile or whatever you're trying to grow on is not fertile so it's about planning pre-planning instituting waiting understanding that divine timing the essence of divinity is here to assist and will help you but that's also about timing so I don't know, it could be infertility issues in terms of it's like real life infertility issues about, you know, not being able to get pregnant or it is infertility in terms of things you want to manifest and grow. Take time. Things take time. All right. This is what I have for you. Um, the seed of uh, the seed of conception. Uh, yeah, it will be planted here. It looks like you can make this happen. OK. Uh, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. You can also go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could come learn the tarot with me. Classes are linked below. You can also purchase something from the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.